Do you like drinking tea, coffee, water? Did you know there is a special cup for greedy people? You can fill it to a certain level. If you pour in more, it pours out through a hole in the bottom. It was Pythagoras who first invented the cup for greedy people. On the island of Samos, where he lived, there wasn't enough water for people. All the slaves were given cups with the same amount of water, and no one had a chance to be greedy. Do you know what other water containers were used a long time ago and what they were made from? The first cups were made from wood or stone. In Finland, cups were hollowed out from wood by hand, from whole pieces of tree trunk and bark. Water didn't leak out. The most ancient containers that we know about were made over 15,000 years ago. They were made of human skulls. Maybe later people learned to forgive their enemies because they left skulls in peace and started making cups from more humane materials. Steel, tin, ceramics, porcelain and glass. The most valuable specimens were made of silver, amber and ivory. Cups were decorated with ornaments and precious stones. Now, we don't care that much for decorations. Simplicity is the most important thing for us. At the beginning of the 20th century, Americans drank water outdoors, usually from steel cups with no pictures on. So that nobody would steal the cup, they were fastened to street taps with chains. This is a drinking container that has really been simplified. A disposable plastic cup known to everyone. And this is a paper cup. The cup can be used not only as a container for drinking, but also as a holder for pencils. It's really simple, isn't it? In Tibet, there are bowls that are musical instruments. The Tibetan singing bowl is used for meditation, relaxation, and even for giving massages. The sound of the Tibetan singing bowl is similar to the sound of a bell. What are sporting winners awarded as prizes? A bowl of a special shape, but it's not a bowl, it's a cup. During the Middle Ages, after a knight's tournament, the winner was awarded wine put in these cups. In the 19th century, wine wasn't put in the cups anymore and an empty cup was awarded. Do you know where the biggest coffee cup in the world is? It's in a casino in Las Vegas. It can hold 7,000 liters of coffee. If you poured this coffee out into regular coffee cups, you could supply 32,000 people. In Malaysia in 1985, a huge beer mug was made. It had a height of two meters and 3,000 liters of beer was put in it. Hey, do you know there are special cups for music connoisseurs? One pub in Munich serves beer in unusual mugs. The moment you lift it off the table, you hear Bavarian music. While drinking beer, you listen to music. For busy programmers, British designers thought of a special cup with a section for a bun. With one hand, you hold the mouse. With another, the coffee and warm bun. So there's no need to be distracted from your work. French designers thought of a unique teacup for lazy people. It mixes sugar in tea. A ceramic ball is installed in the bottom. It can even clean itself. Just add water after the tea and detergent. So a cup brings only pleasure to its owner. Its shape, color, and meaning depend on your mood. The more different types of cups you have, the more pleasure you get. <laughs> <laughs>